vitamin C. Uh, can vitamin C make you gain weight? Unexplained uh, weight gain. I'm Dr. Bassem talking about that. While excess body fat alone is not enough to indicate a vitamin C deficiency, it may be worth examining after other factors have been ruled out. Summary, low vitamin C intake has been linked to increased body fat in humans, but other factors may be involved, such as diet quality. 15 signs, uh, 15 signs and uh, symptoms of vitamin C deficiency. Vitamin C is an essential nutrient that must be consumed regularly to prevent deficiency. While deficiency is uh, relatively rare in developed countries due to the availability of fresh produce and the addition of vitamin C to certain foods and supplements, uh, it still uh, affects roughly 7% seven, uh, 7 of adults in the U.S. The most common risk factors of vitamin C deficiency are poor diet, alcoholism, anorexia, severe mental illness, smoking, and dialysis. While symptoms of severe vitamin C deficiency can take months to develop, there are some subtle uh, sci uh, signs to watch out for. Here are the 15 most common signs and symptoms of vitamin C deficiency. Uh, first, rough, umby skin. Vitamin C plays, plays a key role in collagen production, a protein that is abundant in connective tissue like skin, hair, joints, bones, and blood vessels. While vitamin C levels are low, a skin condition known as keratosis pilaris uh, can develop. In this uh, condition, bumpy uh, chicken skin forms on the back of the upper arms, thighs, uh, or buttocks due to, to a built-up of keratin protein inside the pores. Uh, keratosis uh, pilaris caused by vitamin C deficiency typically appears after a three to five months of an adequate uh, intake and re uh, resolves uh, with uh, supplementation. Uh, however, there are many, of, uh, many other uh, potential causes of keratosis uh, pilaris, so uh, its presence alone is not enough to diagnose a deficiency. Uh, second, it is uh, cork screw shaped body hair. Vitamin C de deficiency can also cause hair to grow uh, in bent or coiled shapes uh, due to uh, defects uh, that develop in the protein structure of hair as it grows. Uh, cork screw shaped uh, hair is one of the hallmark signs of vitamin C deficiency but may not be obvious. Uh, this damaged hair are more likely to break off or fall out. Hair, ab hair abnorm abnormalities often resolve within one month to treatment with adequate amount of vitamin C. Summary, abnormally uh, bent co uh, coiled or screw, uh, cork screw shaped body hairs are a hallmark sign of vitamin C deficiency, but they may be difficult to detect as uh, these hairs are more likely to fall out. Third, uh, bright red hair follicles. Hair follicles on the surface of the skin uh, contain uh, many tiny blood vessels that supply blood and nutrients to the to the area. When uh, the body is deficient in vitamin C, these small blood vessels become fragile and break a break, easily causing small bright red spots to appear around the hair follicle. This is known as perifollicular uh, hemorrhage and a well-documented doc sign of severe vitamin C deficiency. Taking vitamin C supplements typically resolves this symptom within two weeks. 
summary, hair follicles contain many tiny blood vessels that can rupture due to a vitamin C deficiency, causing bright red spots to appear around the follicles. Four, uh, spoon-shaped fingernails uh, with red spots or lines. Uh, spoon-shaped nails are characterized by their concave shape and often thin and brittle. They are more commonly associated with, uh, with iron deficiency anemia but have also been linked to vitamin C deficiency. Red spots or vertical lines in the nail bed known as a splinter hemorrhage may also appear during vitamin C deficiency due to weakened blood vessels that rupture easily, while the visual appearance of fingernails and toenails may help determine the likelihood of vitamin C deficiency. Note that it is not considered diagnostic. Summary, vitamin C deficiency is associated with the spoon-shaped fingernails and red lines or spots underneath the nail bed. Uh, five, uh, dry damaged skin. Healthy skin contains large amounts of vitamin C, especially in the epidermis or outer layer of skin. Vitamin C keeps uh, skin healthy by protecting it from oxidative damage caused by the sun and exposed to pollutants, uh, pollutants uh, like cigarette smoke uh, or the ozone or the, the ozone it also promotes collagen production production which, which keeps skin looking plump and youthful uh, high intakes of vitamin C are associated with better skin quality, while lower intakes are associated with uh, a 10% increased risk of developing dry wrinkled skin. While dry damaged skin can be linked to vitamin C deficiency, it can also be caused by many other factors, so this symptom alone is not enough to diagnose a deficiency. Summary, low intakes of vitamin C are associated with the dry, sun-damaged skin, but these symptoms can also be caused by other factors. 6. Easy bruising. Bruising occurs when, uh, occurs when blood vessels under the skin rupture, causing blood to leak into the surrounding areas. Easy, easy bruising is a common sign of vitamin C deficiency since poor collagen production cause weak blood vessels. Deficiency related uh, bruises may cover large areas of the body or appear as small purple dots under the skin. Easy bruising is often one of the first obvious symptoms of a deficiency and should warrant further investigation into, uh, into vitamin C levels. Summary, vitamin C deficiency weakens blood vessels causing easy bruising. It's often one of the first obvious signs of vitamin C deficiency. 7. Slowly healthy wounds. Uh, since vitamin C deficiency slows the rate of collagen formation, it causes wounds to heal more slowly. Research has shown that people with chronic non-healing legs ulcers are significantly more likely to be deficient in vitamin C than those without chronic leg ulcers. In severe cases of vitamin C deficiency, old wounds may even reopen, increasing the risk of infection. Slow wound healing is one uh, of the more advanced signs of deficiency and typically not seen uh, until someone has been deficient, uh, deficient for many months. Summary, vitamin C deficiency interferes with uh, tissue formation, causing wounds to heal more slowly. This is considered an, uh, an advanced sign of deficiency. So other signs and symptoms would likely appear first. Eight, painful swollen joints. 
Vitamin C deficiency often causes severe joint pain. In severe cases, bleeding can occur within the joints, causing painful swelling. 9. Weak bones. Vitamin C is important for bone formation, and deficiency can increase the risk of, develop, of developing weak and brittle bones. Bleeding gums and tooth loss. Red swollen, red swollen bleeding gums are another common sign of vitamin C deficiency. Without, without adequate vitamin C, gum tissue becomes weakened and inflamed uh, and blood vessels bleed more easily. In advanced stages of vitamin C deficiency, gum may even appear purple and rotten. Eventually, teeth can fall out uh, due to unhealthy gums and weak uh, dentin, the calcified inner layer of teeth. Summary, uh, red bleeding gums are a common sign of vitamin C deficiency, and severe deficiency can even lead to tooth loss. Uh, 11. Poor immunity. It is uh, important now during Corona. Studies show that vitamin C accumulates inside various types of immune cells to help them combat infection and destroy disease-causing pathogens. Vitamin C deficiency is associated with poor immunity and a higher risk of infection, including serious illness like pneumonia. In fact, many people with scurvy, uh, a disease caused by vitamin, vitamin C deficiency, eventually die uh, to infection due to their poorly functioning immune system. A summary, vitamin C is an important nutrient for the immune system. Low, low vitamin C levels are linked with, to an increased risk of infection, while severe deficiency can cause death from infection from infectious disease uh, 12 persistent iron deficiency anemia vitamin c e uh, and iron deficiency i think i mentioned uh, that before but vitamin c and iron deficiency anemia often occur together signs of iron deficiency anemia include paleness fatigue trouble breathing during exercise dry skin and hair headache and spoon-shaped fingernails, low levels of vitamin C may contribute to iron deficiency anemia by reducing the, uh, the absorption of iron from plant-based foods and negatively affecting iron metabolism. Vitamin C deficiency also increases the risk of excessive bleeding, which can contribu contribute to anemia. If iron deficiency anemia persists for a long time with no obvious causes, it may be wise to check your vitamin C levels. Summary, vitamin C deficiency may increase the risk uh, of uh, iron deficiency anemia by reducing iron, absor iron absorption and increasing the likelihood of bleeding, fatigue, and poor mood. Uh, signs of fatigue and poor mood can appear even with low to normal levels of vitamin C, but the, they quickly turn around with adequate uh, vitamin C intake. Unexplained weight gain. Vitamin C may help protect against obesity by regulating the release of fats from fat cells, reducing stress, hormones, and decreasing inflammation. Research has found a, cons a consistent link between low intake of vitamin C and excess body fat, but, it, but it's not clear uh, whether it's uh, a cause and effect relationship. Interestingly, low blood uh, levels of vitamin C have been linked to higher amounts of belly fat even in normal weight individuals. While excess body fat alone is not enough to indicate a vitamin C deficiency, it may be worth examining after other factors have been ruled out. Summary, 
low vitamin C intake has been linked to increased body fat in humans, uh, but other factors may be involved, such as diet quality. 15. Chronic inflammation and oxidative stress. Vitamin C is one of the body's most important water-soluble antioxidants. It helps prevent cellular, cellular damage by neutralizing free radicals that can cause oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. Oxidative stress, stress. Oxidative stress and inflammation have been linked to many chronic illness, including heart disease and diabetes, so reducing levels is likely beneficial. Low intake of vitamin C have been linked to higher levels of inflammation and oxidative stress, as well as an increased risk of heart disease. One study found that adults with the lowest blood uh, levels of vitamin C were nearly uh, 40 more likely to develop uh, heart failure within 15 years than those with the highest blood levels even though they were not deficient in vitamin C. Uh, summary, uh, regular consumption of antioxidants like vitamin C is associated with healthy benefits. Uh, while low intakes may increase inflammation and oxidative stress. Now, the best food sources of vitamin C. The recommended daily intake for vitamin C is uh, 90 mg for men and, and 75 mg for women. Smokers are advised to consume an additional, an additional 35 mg per day as tobacco reduces the tobacco reduces the absorption of vitamin C and increases the body use of the nutrients. Uh, very little vitamin C is uh, needed to prevent scurvy. Just 10 mg per day is enough, which is roughly the amount found in one tablespoon of fresh bell pepper or the juice or the juice of half lemon. Some of the best food sources of vitamin C per cup include uh, uh, guava, uh, 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 sweet red pepper, kiwi, kiwi fruit, uh, lychee, lemon, orange, strawberry, papaya, broccoli, parsley. Uh, vitamin C uh, breaks down uh, when exposed to heat, so raw fruits and vegetables are better sources than cooked ones. Since the body uh, doesn't store large amounts of vitamin C, it is reco uh, recommended to eat fresh fruits and vegetables every day. Supple supplementing with vitamin C hasn't uh, been found to be toxic, by, but taking more than 2,000 mg per day may cause abdominal cramps, uh, diarrhea, and nausea, as well as increase the risk, uh, increase the risk of developing oxalate kidney stones in men. Additionally, doses over 25, uh, 200, sorry, uh, doses over 250 mg per day may interfere with test designs to detect blood in the stool or stomach and should be discontinued two weeks before testing. Summary, fresh foods and vegetables are excellent sources of vitamin C and should prevent deficiency when consumed on a daily basis. Supplementing with vitamin C is not toxic but may cause unpleasant side effects at high doses. Now I have finished talking about vitamin C. I like to take, now I have increased uh, the dose to uh, 2000 milligram because I want to know how it may affect uh, my skin and uh, the scars. Please go down under the video and make like, uh, subscribe to my channel, activate the bell and please share it with your friends. Welcome. Dr. Bassan Suleiman.